Hey everyone, it's Tremia, and I thought of a no more befitting way to start off the new year, 2012, than with, than with a list of my no mores. <laughs> okay, things I don't have anymore. No more systemic lupus erythematosus. No more lupus. There's no more signs, indicators, markers, nothing. There's no more lupus. No more APS, or the antiphospholipid syndrome that usually goes along with lupus. Um, it messes with your blood counts. It's also known as sticky blood. No more. No more Raynaud's. <laughs> no more blue fingers and toes. <laughs> no more painfully cold anything. And um, I've since retired my heating pad because it was always by my bed and ready to go. And no more. No more Sjogren's. I don't no longer have dry mouth, dry eyes, dry anything. No more. No more debilitating fatigue. <laughs> and I mean debilitating fatigue, the kind where you cannot move a muscle to get out of bed. <laughs> Um, I still have fatigue, which is um, due to the recovery from the stem cell transplant and all my complications, but it's nothing like the debilitating fatigue with lupus. No more insomnia every night. I'm getting sleep. <laughs> Can't complain. I mean, every once in a while, I have like a, a night where I might not be to sleep, you know, at a regular time. But other than that, I'm getting my, you know, full night's sleep and everything, even with napping during the day. So, yay for sleep. Sandman found, it, found his way back to my home. No more severe pain. I was living daily with my pain ratings being an 8 and a 9, and, you know, those were good days. The bad days was a 10. Um, now my pain ratings are like in the 2s around two, maybe a three, just depending on what my physical therapy was the day before. And like right now, I'd say it's probably between a three and a four, but I'm titrating down. I just went down one milligram a couple of days ago on my steroid. So that causes extra pain, but you know, that'll just last for three, four days. And then that extra period of pain will be over with. Um, the lupus had affected my pituitary gland and I'm no longer on growth hormone shots so no more growth hormone shots no more profuse sweating I mean sweating where it's just dripping off of you and your hair soaking wet and I don't mean having a hot flash I mean you're just sweating no longer and I, I had that for years no longer no more sweating um, no more pneumonitis Yay. <laughs> no more oxygen and being tethered to a 50-foot cord. Everybody in the house knew where I was. <laughs> not that we have a huge house, but, you know, I don't have to care. I'm not connected to that cord or oxygen anymore. No more pleurisy. There's no pain when I'm breathing. None whatsoever. Um, no chemotherapy. No more IV chemotherapy every other week. I did that for almost four years, every other week, IV therapy, and that made me think of another one, no more port, I no longer have a port, there is nothing in my body that should not be there, um, no 40 plus pills a day to live, no more, no 40 plus pills, I think maybe, well, I'll have to count how many I have now, but it's definitely way far less than even half of that. And I mean, it's just, it's the prednisone and um, my thyroid, um, the acyclovir, which I have to take for the first year after the transplant. And there's another pill, but I mean, that's it. But no more 40 plus, having to swallow 40 plus pills a day. No more hair loss. Yay, my hair's growing in, and it's thick. It's not thinned out. 
Um, I can't believe how thick my hair actually feels. I feel like I'm a teenager again because I've got <laughs> a full head of thickness of hair. No more butterfly rash. Any redness that you see on my face is, you know, it healing from that virus that made my face fall off. No more rashes on my body. None. I haven't had any whatsoever. Um, no more mouth and nose sores. Those were a pain in the rear. <laughs> I'm glad, and I, I'll constantly have those, so no more of those. Um, no more ANA titer 1 over 1,280. My last ANA titer is 1 over 40, which is basic, is negative. It, it doesn't even really register. So, <laughs> yay. Um, no more bone and joint pain other than, you know, what what happens when I go down on the steroids. There's no daily bone and joint pain. Um, no more being bedridden. Um, I do hit the bed a few times during the day, but I'm not living in the bed. I can get up and, you know, walk myself to the bathroom. I can walk around the house, um, you know, gaining more and more freedom. No more shaking and twitching. Oh, that is so, uh, yay. <laughs> no more numbness and tingling feelings and sensations. That's all gone. No more passing out. That was a scary period of time because I'd just be walking alone. Next thing I know, I'd be on the floor. And it's a wonder I didn't break any bones or, you know, cut my head open or anything. No more constant low-grade fevers. Those are hard on you. And, you know, I hated that because they made my mouth always peel, made my lips always peel. No more low-grade fevers. No more small intestine vasculitis. That was bad. That was when I was having those horrible, horrible stomach spasms. And I was in and out of the hospital. And that's when I did that one surgery on me. That caused me to go into pulmonary failure. And I ended up in the hospital, what, about six, seven weeks. Um, I don't have to take Lasix anymore for the water around, because there's no more water around my heart and lungs. Um, no more photosensitivity. When I go out in the sun now, it is totally different. And I didn't realize how I was reacting. I knew that I had a reaction to the sun, but I didn't realize I was like, you know, that that it was causing that. Now when I go out in the sun, it's soothing, and it's warmth, and it's nice. There's no, like, ouch to it at all. And I didn't know that I was having an ouch sensation to it, but I knew that I, that I was sensitive to it, but... Um, no more flares of optic neuritis. I still have problems with my eyes left over from the damage that it did do. But no more flares of optic neuritis. No more blindness. Just the leftovers. Um, no more 100% assistance required. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, doing more and more able to do more things on my own. I'm not requiring Dwayne 100%. The things that I'm working on that this year hopefully will f accomplish. Um, no more adrenal insufficiency. They say it's possible. Um, no more steroids. No more pain medications. Um, no more fibromyalgia. I want to say that I'm already without it. That it's not there. But I'm not 100% sure. Because sometimes um, when I overdo it. My, pain, my muscles get really painful. Um, no more cushionoid syndrome, which is the moon face and the swelling from the steroids. No more steroid myopathy, which I'm working on with my OT and PT. No more weakness, gaining my strength. No more falling down. I've had enough of that. <laughs> I'm tired of skinning my knees up and everything else. No more infections. I'm already past the life-threatening ones. I'm just down to my regular ones. <laughs> just the regular, normal, everyday ones. No more brain fog and total independence from caregiving. That's going to be my 2012. Love you guys. See you in the next video.